Today I want to talk about when the complaint that we so often hear about science that it changes all the time. That it's never the same. That what that we believe about something today won't be what we believe about it tomorrow. And how this is supposed to be a weakness of science because it's never always 100% right. But here's the thing. Science changes because we learn and we discover new things. We toss out what we once thought was true and we find out it's wrong, or we change our understanding to fit the new information. But religion, pseudoscience, pseudomedicine and whatnot don't ever change with new information. They just, if science or information shows that what they believe was wrong, neither their interpretation was wrong or there's some unknown factor, like a pseudomedicine. Every time it shows that homeopathy doesn't work or acupuncture doesn't work, that turning toothpicks on a patient has the same effect as actual acupuncture, that the actual puncture points don't matter. Instead of realizing it's all bunk, like, oh, well, acupuncture is much more diverse than we thought, and all these kind of things. Looking at, you know, pseudoscience of monsters and cryptozoology and whatnot, I was watching first couple episodes of Monster Talk, and it brings up some really kind of interesting points that the thing that debunks the very idea of some of these things, like the pterodactyl or the plesiosaur, they're supposed to lake monsters and whatnot, are debunked by the claims of them themselves. They're based very heavily upon early understanding of them, like the plesiosaurus, the idea that its neck was like a swan, and it could lift its head above water. Well, A, physically that's impossible. You can't, an animal under the water can't lift its head up like that. And second of all, its neck can't bend. Yet all the descriptions show it that way, which was based upon the old idea. Or pterodactyls, we know they had a layer of fuzz. Yet all the examples of pterodactyls were leathery wings, no mention of anything else. They were all mentioned based upon our limited knowledge about them in the past. And we run into this time and time again. As new information comes out, the ideas, the arguments, the claims don't ever change to fit the new information. With creationists and, and religious, we still hear them using arguments that are 20 years old that we've since gone beyond. We understand far more about the Big Bang and whatnot. We know far, far much 